How you doing? Well, thanks. Seven for seven kind of makes it a habit, doesn't mm. it? Expectations are that we go to bowl games every year at BYU, and, and what I would like to continue is this idea that when we go, we win, and that's uh, something we're we're looking forward to doing. When you think of the last six, what two or three moments stand out as your favorite? Oh, uh, I remember the block kick against UCLA. I don't know which game that was in or what, where in the order that it fits, but I remember that. I remember a picked up a fumble and run for a touchdown against Oregon State in the wind. I think that was last year. Uh, I remember a disappointing uh, performance and loss to Arizona. Um, we had gone to, we'd been 11 and two, 11 and two, 11 and two, and we found ourselves back in the Las Vegas Bowl, right. and I think our aspirations and my own were higher, and I don't think we really were hungry to play in that game, and I think it was reflective, and we learned a lot about the postseason and how much the more motivated team might have the edge, and so those are some of the things I remember. Some of those, most of those memories seem to center around defense, which you're mm. never too far away from, are you? Yeah, it, it seems like... Uh, that just happens to be where my heart is most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> this has been a defensive group that's really evolved and has been a blast to watch. Now, as a guy who appreciates good linebackers, you have six, seven, maybe eight of them that you could throw in there at any time. We have a strong linebacking core, and they've played very well. Um, we miss Jordan Pendleton now that he's hurt, but between Jordan, Kyle, Jamison, Brandon Ogletree, Spencer Hadley, Wona Kavanga, um, Jaden Wagner, they're just a, a great group of guys to be around and statistically they're, they're very good. A lot of these defenders are coming back uh, next year. Defensively, is this as, de as deep as, as your teams have been? I think it's as deep as we've been and I think it's as consistent as we've been. Um, uh, barring the early loss to our rival, um, which was a very unusual game, uh, they've played very consistent throughout the season and I'd love to see them not only as a defensive unit, but as a team, do that one more time. Is it a coach's dream to have a defense just good enough to, that you just run them out to play no matter what the other team's offense is doing? You know, um, it, it is, and, and I credit really their preparation. Um, senior leadership is important, but our front seven uh, really allows us, has allowed us to have our secondary come along, and our secondary has come along to the point where they're one of the nation's best in a lot of the statistics. And, but that was allowed to develop because of how well the front seven was playing. And so when you have Romney Funga up there, when you have Loni Fangupo, when you have Ethan Manamalayuna, Matt Putnam, Graham Rowley, um, Jordan Richardson, it just, you know, it just, it's nice to have depth and good players. It's not often you have a quarterback that's just as tough as the seven mm -hmm. guys you, uh, you just talked about Th on defense. That's, that's the most fun thing about coaching this team. Um, a couple of the plays Riley made against Hawaii yeah. were, you, you could put any linebacker out there and they wouldn't have been able to beat those um, tackles that, that he beat. And I love his mindset, I love his conditioning, I love his leadership, I love his ability to create. And we've gone from 80th in the country in third downs to first. And that's a lot has to do with just Riley and he just will not not get the first down somehow, some way. And it's not always orthodox, but that guy is going to compete. How much of it is Riley and how much of it is Coach Doman, Coach Mendenhall, and the whole BYU philosophy? It, it's, it's not Coach Mendenhall much when it comes to offense. I, I, th I just try to be consistent um, and add input on a rare occasion. But Coach Doman has really matured as a play caller. And then when you put Riley at quarterback with Coach Doman, who kind of played like Riley, there's a commonality in the way they think and the way the plays are called for a similar style of quarterback that maybe Coach Doman was. And so I think that's made it easier as a play caller for Coach Doman. It just happens to suit Riley's style. And so that those two come together for a pretty unique combination. And I think that's a, a model that could be very, uh, be very effective for us in the future. What are your concerns about Tulsa? Well, Tulsa is an explosive team. Um, their season has been similar to ours. They've lost to a few good teams and beaten badly some teams that um, were, were not so good in terms of record. They have a quarterback that's very similar to our quarterback. And he's, very, he's a fierce competitor. He's very difficult to get on the ground. Their defense is solid under Brent Guy, former Utah State right. head coach. Um, and they have a lot of skilled players on the outside uh, that fly sweeps and ride G sweeps. And, but the bottom line is their quarterback makes their offense go. And he's very difficult, very elusive to, to get your hands on. And he's very poised. And he's the son of a high school football coach. That always is a unique combination. Yeah. And then. They have a player in jersey number 34 that they use all different kinds of ways. And so they're an explosive offense. And statistically, if any of our fans are statistics, if you just pull them up, you'll see that they're 
uh, top 25 in a lot of the categories offensively. What will be the one key that will determine a win or a loss, you think? Well, I'm not sure there is a key. I could probably give one on either side. Uh, third down conversions for our offense, we have to be able to keep continuing to convert third downs. Defensively, if you, defensively, if you can't tackle their quarterback, you can't win. And the teams that have been able to corral him win. The ones that haven't don't win. Now, do your boys judge a bowl game success on the final score or the presents that they get at the hotel? <laughs> are you talking about my, my boys specifically? Yes, or? I am. <laughs> my, my boys are to the <laughs> point right now where they're just starting to tie this thing together, that the outcome has something to do with it, just scratching the surface so the gifts are still kind of uh, uh, override the outcome. That's as it should be. Thanks, Coach. Good <laughs> my luck. My pleasure. Thanks a lot. Bronco Mendenhall. Hall.